Hello. Hi. Uh, I want to say happy Martin Luther King Day. And um, I want to take some time. I usually uh, talk about, you know, market updates. Uh, but I did want to spend some time highlighting how thankful I am that I live in this country and for everything Martin Luther King has done for us. Um, including in real estate, there has been a lot of discrimination that maybe people aren't aware of. And I, I wanted to share some of that because some of those things actually still have an impact. And as I grew up in uh, South, South Los Angeles, um, I noticed things were different in my community. A lot of these things are because of laws that existed in the previous time. Um, thanks be to God that, you know, we have uh, the 14th Amendment that has helped us, and um, things are a lot more fair now. Uh, but the reality is that these things did happen. So um, first to Native Americans and uh, in also to a lot of Japanese, East Indian, Filipino, Jap um, Chinese. There are laws that actually prohibit Japanese people, Black people, Hispanics from purchasing land. Um, and there's been a disparity. There is actually, there's so many laws that happens from back all the way from 1883, 82. Um, and, and there were also like, um, laws that prohibited, um, you know, and they were built into the actual title of the homes. And when you're a realtor, sometimes you see titles and you'll see where they were crossed out. Um, there were also zoning laws that were implemented when people were moving, migrating from the South, um, black people moving from the South, they put that into zoning laws to restrict people where they could live. Then there were unfair, uh, lending practices. So banks would not lend on areas where, where predominantly of minority, um, people. And then there's also, a appraisal. So into the FHA law, there were rules that um, basically devalued home based on the ethnicity of the community. Uh, so those are all things that, you know, happened back then. You think, oh, well, we're over it now. Well, even in 2021, there was uh, some, in Marin County, I believe, there was a, a, a couple that had, uh, you know, black couple had pictures of their home and their appraisal came in under a million dollars and then they asked for a second appraisal and the home came in valued over a million dollars. Um, so, you know, these things still happen. So now there's a form uh, that, you know, lets people know that these things are still not okay and we are all um, should receive a fair appraisal. So as a broker and as a person in California, as a daughter of immigrants, you know, I'm very thankful to Martin Luther King. He's always been one of my personal heroes uh, for speaking out and really equaling the playing field for all of us. And I really believe America is a country where you can work hard, advance, and make a big difference in your life and for others. And I don't feel that the real estate laws that are in other countries are any are better than ours, you know. There's a lot of countries where people can't even buy a house and, or if they do have a property and there's fruit on their property in communist countries, you know, they have to give that, they're taxed on the profits that they generate from their land, even, you know, it's just ridiculous what other people are dealing with. So yes, we've been through a lot, but compared to what we have in the entire world, I feel like I'm very grateful to be in this country, and I just wanted to share a little bit about these things. There's actual books that I've read um, talking about all these things, and I find it very interesting, like how zoning was used. Eminent domain is when the government takes over property, and how that was used against minorities. There's so many examples, like even in Manhattan Beach, a lot of people think of that place. There's actual section that um, the government used eminent domain to take uh, property from Blacks, and then didn't use a property, uh, the land for anything. They just displaced a bunch of people because they didn't want black people there. And then uh, the community complained 50 years later, they built a park there. You know, so these are all things that actually happen in, in our communities here in Southern California. 
um, it's very interesting and I think it just makes me more grateful for what we have and um, it makes me grateful to be able to purchase property and you know grow my investment portfolio and help other people buy homes so I just wanted to talk a little bit about that and then um, I, next I will talk about this market report um, so here you see this market report and if you, any of you are interested in your particular county, I have a resource that will give you all the information related to your city. Um, I'm talking here about Ventura County where I am now, but if you are in another uh, county, I can provide this information for you. So here we have Ventura County. Uh, we have the medium price and year to date sales are down as I've told you guys before. And inventory is at 2.7, and the median time on the market is 25 days. So when we gonna when we put a house for sale, I like to look at all these information and then look at what is a competition doing, how long is it taking to sell a home, so then we can prepare for that. Uh, let's see. I also wanted to share with you that if you need. Uh, um, affordability calculator like let's say you want to figure out how many bedrooms could you get or how many rooms you can get uh, based on your income and where you live I have a calculator that I can uh, walk you through to help you figure out how much you qualify for without having to run your credit and we can sit down and make an appointment and work on that together so I put, this is a tool for sellers but I also have tools for buyers so if any of you are interested and buying a home or selling a home, I can show you the tools that you could keep looking at continuously to help you prepare. Okay, um, so that's it for today. I know it's a holiday and I did want to just take some time to talk about that. If you guys have any questions about real estate, please let me know and I hope you all have a wonderful day.